So, commissioners, we're about to begin, okay? Okay, we're ready. Welcome to the Planning Commission meeting for Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. It is 6 p.m. Uh, we would uh, like to open with a roll call, please. Okay. Um, Commissioner Benjamin Rubin, he's the alternate member, is not present. He's on, ex is he? he's on the line. He's on the line. He's teleconferencing in. Commissioner Natasha Bezo is excused absence. Com uh, Commissioner Steve Link is serving as the chair. Are you present? Yes. Commissioner John Dinan is teleconferencing in. Are you present? Yes. Vice Chair Joan Stewart is teleconferencing in. Are you present? Yes. And Chair Mallory Fenrich is on an excuse to absent. Uh, City Clerk, my understanding is that since our Planning Commission Chair is on the telephone, that she should basically, you know, ceremonious, ceremoniously hand over the, um, sorry, I got some feedback here, the gavel to Commissioner Link. Yes, we will note for the record that Commissioner Link will serve as the chair for tonight. Thank you. The uh, conflict of interest, any planning commission member or staff who has a direct conflict of interest on any agenda item, scheduled agenda item, to be considered is to declare uh, their conflict at this time. And there are none. Next, uh, public comments. At this time, members of the public may commit on any item, comment on any item not appearing on the agenda and within the subject matter jurisdiction of the Planning Commission Board. Individual comments will be limited to a maximum of five minutes per person, and each person may speak once during this time. Time cannot be yielded to another person. Under state law, matters presented during the time, uh, during the public comment period cannot be discussed or acted upon. For record purposes, state your name and city of residence. Please make your comments directly to the Planning Commission Board. And there are, uh, there is no one present to do that, but they are uh, available to do that online or calling in. Right. So you'll want to read that one paragraph of how people okay. can communicate with us tonight. So due to the CO uh, VID 19 safety measures, uh, new comment procedures are in place, which are written public comments will be received by, via email before and during the time the item being considered is open for comments by the chair. Uh, you can email uh, dkenny at riverbank.org. Uh, the public can also comment via phone call, and it will be received only during the time the chair opens the hearing or opens the item for comments. You may call 209-863-7172 or call at any time may be received. One call at any time may be received, pardon me. And then the normal allotment of five minutes for comments will be allowed. However, this remains at the discretion of the chair due to the new process of comment submissions. So Donna, have you received any email comments at this point? I have not received any comments. All right, so we're going to uh, move on to the consent calendar. Um, so item uh, 2.1 is the posting of the agenda. The agenda for March 17th, 2020 Planning Commission meeting was posted on the City Community Center Bulletin Board, uh, City Hall North and South Bulletin Boards, Post Office, City website, and emailed to the library on March 13th, 2020. Um, Item 2.2 is the approval of the March 17, 2020 agenda. This provides an opportunity for the Planning Commission or staff to recommend that an item be placed on the agenda for discussion or to adjust the proposed agenda to allow an item to be taken out of order. Chair Link, 
Staff would like to move item 3.2 to be heard first, please. All right, so we will be moving item 3.2 up prior to item 3.1 this evening. The roll call. And it, is there a consensus from, from the rest of the uh, commissioners? Because we're teleconferencing, we'll do a roll call. Yes, okay. please. Okay. Um, let's see. Commissioner Dinan. For, yes, we're, do we need a motion? Yes. Commissioner Dinan, uh, this is for approval of the consent calendar and the moving up of item 3.2 to be heard first before item 3.1. Yeah, yes. Okay. Thank you. Vice Chair Stewart. Yes. And Commissioner Link. Yes. Motion passes 3-0. Oh, I'm sorry. Commissioner Rubin. Yes. Yes, thank you. Motion passes 4-0. Now we will go to item 3.2. All right. Item 3.2 um, involves uh, conduct the public hearing and table consideration to approve the Planning Commission res Resolution number 2020-004, recommending approval of the City Council of a proposed ordinance and development agreement number 03-2019, and resolution number 2020-005, recommending approval of conditional use permit number 01-2020-AERIZ to permit commercial cannabis activities at 2906 Santa Fe Street. Um, so the recommendation, it is recommended that the Planning Commission conduct the public hearing and table the matter by um, mm -hmm. requesting questions or comments by the planning commissioners. So at this point, if any um, planning commissioners have any questions or comments on item 3.2, if you would like to make them at this time. I have none. This is Dinan. This is Stuart. I have none. Okay. I have none. Commissioner Rubin, do you have any questions or comments on this item? 3.2? I have not. Thank you. All right, at this time, we are going to um, open the public hearing. Um, at this time, uh, we are asking to receive comments in person or, or via phone call or email um, for, uh, at, on this item before or during the open hearing. So at this time, we probably want to wait a little bit. Five-minute window. To give people time to call or to email. Uh, Don I at dkenny at riverbank.org. Or call 209-863-7172. The mint is good. No, me, no emails yet.
guys turn on that. That's fine. It's like called that. Let's see. Okay. Sierra Rig Planning Commission meeting. Hello. 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 Hi, Evelyn. Oh. Hello. any help, Gabrielle, we can hear her incoming ring and also hear her. Okay, thank yes. you. Is the public hearing still open? Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, when it's Chicago, it was only like five digits or like some mm -hmm. very short number. Yeah. Yeah, We'll wait again and see if she calls. Mm -hmm. Hello? Good afternoon, Evelyn. Do you have a public comment? Well, I tried twice, but I couldn't hear anybody. Okay. Can you hear us now? I sent an email. I sent an email. What happened to that? It hasn't came in yet, but do you have a public comment? Yeah, well, I just You're able to speak yeah, and express your public comment. Go ahead. This thing has been brought twice down with no information whatsoever to comment on. It needs to be tabled until you have something to comment on and it needs to be re-noticed before it's brought back. Okay? Thank you. That's my comment. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to close the public hearing and uh, by roll call of vote, we'll table the public hearing until further notice. We, we need a motion to do that. Well, we, I thought we had a date. We're just gonna redo, 
okay. April 21st. Right. We do want to vote to table it. Yeah, or, or we'll have to re-notice otherwise. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take a vote here to table item 3.2. Um, to the date. To tentatively to the next regular city council meeting of April 21st, 2020. Planning Commission. Planning Commission. I mean, uh, Planning Commission, sorry. Yes. Planning Commission of April 21st, 2020. Commissioner Dinan. Uh, point of order, do you have a motion on the floor in a second? Do you have a motion? Yes. No. no, it hasn't been made yet. We need a motion. Yes. No motion if has been not, If not, I move to table item 3.2 until further notice. April I'll second 20, it. April 21st, we need. Okay. John, we need the specific date mentioned, please. That would be April 21st, 2020, John. And item 3.2. It says until further notice, tentatively at the next regular meeting of April 21st, 2020. And that was seconded by Vice Chair Stewart. Commissioner Dinan. Yes. Vice Chair Stewart. Yes. Commissioner Rubin. Yes. Commissioner Link. Yes. Motion passes 4-0. Okay. All right, so we are moving on now to item 3.1, which is the development agreement number 01-2020. McRoy Wilbur Communities Incorporated Diamond Bar East subdivision. That's okay. I'm good. <laughs> um, good evening, commissioners, um, those who can hear me. Um, for the record, I just texted the applicant for this item. So you may hear the phone ring and that person join us to listen in and to be available for comments. So this is um, a development agreement. Okay, I'll wait for a second for him to get on. Hello? Hello, it's Carrie Pope. Hi, Carrie. Perfect, Carrie, we're just starting. So development agreement 02-2020 for the Diamond Bar East subdivision. The project consists of a development agreement to extend the life of a tentative map that was approved in 2015. This um, project has been approved for a while. It started with 96 lots and that has been reduced down to 82 lots to um, have a larger basin to collect all the stormwater for the project. Here is the vicinity. As you can see, we have um, the BN BNSF Railroad and Patterson Road at the bottom. We have Snedeker to the east, and we have Santa Fe Street uh, to the north uh, to the top of this project. It consists of two uh, parcels that's divided into the lots and the basin. Here's an aerial view of the area. This is tentative map 2015 that shows the 96 lots that was originally approved. The new developer wishing to purchase this site would like to have 82 lots with, as you can see at the bottom there, a larger basin. The, um, uh, the property, um, excuse me, the map has been reviewed by the city engineer who says that the map is substantially compliant with the map that was approved in 2015. So the current general plan designation is low density residential, at, which allows one to eight units per net acre. The units on this site will be at 4.4 units per net acre. The current zoning is planned development which means that although these will be single family residences, 
um, the developer would like um, or had asked for some uh, variations to the standards um, and that's why it was uh, rezoned to plan development. The project is consistent with the general plan. Um, one of the policies is a design policy that requires, that the city requires to be, the subdivision to be visually attractive with nice streetscapes and sidewalks on both sides of the streets, planting strips, benches, um, pedestrian, uh, pedestrian scale street lights. It's also consistent with conservation 4.2 which uh, provides for the collection and the um, transportation of stormwater, the management of the stormwater. And it's also consistent with uh, conservation policy 8.6 that encourages more compact development uh, to achieve uh, better use of resources. I have a sample floor plan up here right now. Um, the uh, Prospective buyer of this project is McCroy Wilbur Communities, who has recently built the Diamond Bar West subdivision. He intends to put some model homes on uh, Snedeker uh, Avenue, Sned Snedeker Road, excuse me. Um, two of the floor plans will be similar to what is now being, or what was now constructed in Diamond Bar West. And then um, this was an example of some other floor plans that he's looking at to have a nice mix of floor plans and elevations in the models and throughout the subdivision. The environmental, um, when this project was approved in 2015, uh, the city did an initial study and which ended in a mitigated negative declaration. So all the mitigated, all the mitigation measures from the CEQA document as well as all the conditions of approval for the tentative map will continue to apply during the duration of the development agreement which is for five years with a five-year extension. I'd be happy to take any questions um, but to, just to sum it up this is a project that was approved in 2015 and the map is close to expiring. So the development agreement not only extends the deadline of or the expiration date of the map, it also locks in all the amenities and the off and on-site improvements that the developer will need to do uh, to construct the site. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Commissioner Dyer, and I have no questions. This is Stuart, no questions. Mr. Rubin, do you have any questions? Okay, thank you. Um, I'm looking at my uh, laptop right now and um, I don't see any emails from the commissioners either. Uh, was there any inquiries of uh, written comments received at all? Uh, during, no. Uh, during up duration here? Up until the meeting, we have not received any comments on this project. All right. Open it now. Mm -hmm. Open the... So I'm going to open a public hearing for, for any comments at this time uh, via email or the phone number provided. Yes. Which one? Oh, that's right, Carrie spoke. Well, if you can't stay on the line, then we'll oh. just leave Bob in. Oh, oh. Yeah. So if you've got a comment, then. Yeah. Carrie? Yes. We're going to have to. Ha um. uh, we can't hear you, so you're going to have to bring the mic closer okay. to you. Right? See if he has any comments. Oh, well, Carrie? Yes. Do you have any comments? Um, no, just was here to answer any questions and, and first and foremost, I just want to express that, uh, you know, I hope everybody is safe and to stay that way and, and uh, I wish that I could be there myself, um, you know, but uh, I'm especially vulnerable, unfortunately, so, um, but, uh, but no, I'm, I'm here to answer any questions that, uh, that anybody has. 
Okay, thank you, Carrie. Um, we're actually gonna need to close that line so um, some citizens might uh, call in. If um, any questions come up for you, um, I will have you call back. I'll let, let you know on my phone. Okay, great, I appreciate it. <clears throat> thank, thank you, Carrie. Thank you so much. So at this point, we're going to wait a few minutes. If anyone wishing to email comments, they can email them to dkenny at riverbank.org, or you may call in your comments right now at 209-863-7172. We will wait for a few minutes. Chair Link, um, as of this moment, we have no um, comments in by email. All right, so, um, so for the record, there aren't any written comments received at this time. So we, were, uh, we will move to, um, to approve item 3.1, the development agreement number 01-2020, the McCroy Wilbur Communities Incorporated Diamond Bar East Subdivision. If we could first close the public hearing. We'll, we'll close public comment first, then move for a first on the uh, item 3.1 development agreement number 01-2020. So is there a planning commissioner that would like to motion to approve this item 3.1? So moved. This is Commissioner Dinan. I'll this second. This is Stuart. Second. Second. Okay. Um, Commissioner Dinan. Yes. Vice Chair Stewart. Yes. Commissioner Rubin. Yes. Commissioner Link. Yes. Motion passes 4-0. All right, so item 4.1 is um, the Planning Commission presentation information only, GP and HE report, yearly presentation. Uh, tonight we have um, Associate Planner Gabriel Salazar uh, sharing this information with the Planning Commission. This is an informational item only, and there will be no vote. Okay. Good evening, Planning Commission and public. Yes, this is item 4.1 regarding to the 2019 General Plan Annual Progress Report. Each year, California cities are required to prepare an annual progress report on the status of implementing the General Plan housing element and submit this report to the State Department of Housing and Community Development and the, uh, the Governor's Office of Planning and Research. State law requires that general plans include seven elements, which include land use, circulation, housing, safety, noise, conservation, and open space. All elements of the Riverbank General Plan were adopted as a single document on April 22nd, 2009. State law requires that they be updated every eight years. 
For, this re for these reasons, or for this reason, the Riverbank housing element is contained in a separate document and was adopted on February by City Council on February 23rd, 2016, and certified by the state on December 30th, 20th, December 30th, 2015. As I noted earlier, California state law requires that the city prepare a general plan housing element annual progress report that's submitted to the city council. That must be um, approved by city council and sent to the Office of Planning and Research and the Housing and Community Development Department by April 1st of each year. I'm sorry. Okay. Some of the elements that are included um, include uh, building permits, uh, new development entitlement for land use and new housing projects in the city. For the 2019 housing annual progress report, the city is including building permits for 23 above moderate residential units that were approved in 2019 and built. All were for single family residences. The majority of these building permits were issued in East Riverbank which include the developments of Diamond Bar West, California Estates, and Elmore, Elmwood Estates. No building permits were issued for very low, low and or moderate income categories. However, these efforts do indicate and demonstrate the, the city's progress towards uh, achieving also its, um, its um, regional housing needs allocation, which is determined per county in the state and the city is making progress towards achieving their housing goals and objectives. Thank you. All right, so at this time, do we have any planning commission comments? No questions for me. This is Diamond. Nothing for me, thanks. This is Stewart. Ben, any comments? I think we want to make it clear. Um, were you responding to comments to item 4.1 on the GP and e HE report that you had no comments? Is that correct? Correct. 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 Okay. So I believe uh, Commissioner Link is now going to item five, planning commissioner comments. Do you have any comments, just in general, for this meeting? And this is Commissioner Dynan. I just want to commend staff for putting together this teleconference. It was an outstanding job. Yes, well done, all of you. Thank you. So now there's the official close at this point? No. no. There were no comments on uh, item five for uh, planning commission comments. We go to item number six. And no. I don't have a six. <laughs> uh, okay. So item six is the uh, county referral correspondence information and there is no action on that. And then uh, Item number seven are uh, staff comments, if there are any staff comments. Thank you. Um, usually I take this time to share information on my items at the last uh, city council meetings. Um, the last meeting that I attended was um, March, uh, the March 10th meeting. Um, at that meeting, um, I presented the uh, River Run subdivision, which like the Diamond Bar East subdivision, uh, needed a, de a development agreement in order to extend their expiration date. So the first reading of that um, ordinance to approve their DA for the River Run project um, was approved on March 10th, and it goes to second reading on March 24th. And that's all the information I have to share at this time. Now we're at item eight, which is the adjournment of the uh, regular planning commission meeting for April 21st, 2020 at 635.
We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you so much, commissioners. Thank you. Good night.